Hi, Aries. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Happy January. Goodbye, 2020. See ya later. I, I do feel, Aries, that, you know, of course, things don't just change overnight. So we're still going to be dealing with some difficult energies in 2021. Um, but I do think that at least there's going to be progression. At least there's going to be movement, you know, because so many of us have been feeling so stagnant. And Aries does not like stagnant. Let me tell you what. <laughs> Aries does not have time for stagnance. Let's see what your key card is. Six of Swords. Here's what it looks like. I am crossing a line between instability and stability, narcissism and higher consciousness. I change direction, leaving what's known while revisiting old feelings and patterns in order to gain clarity on the next steps that need to be taken. I take these steps with courage and drive. I trust myself to listen to my inner guidance and allow this transformation to occur. Yes. Aries, um, the Six of Swords is all about moving out of a difficult situation into smoother waters. It is a transition period um, for you where you're finally making the choice, not even necessarily knowing what's ahead of you, um, but just knowing that anything's better than what you're dealing with now, right? Um, whatever the situation may be. Uh, moving moving out of something that's just no longer serving you is not working for you is causing you uh, you know it's a swords card so it's all about the mental right things that are calling ca causing you you know anxiety mental strife um, you're just tired of it and you're ready to to move on to something easier and better and smoother and more more in alignment um, with where you're wanting to go and maybe you don't even quite know where that is yet, Aries, but you know what? Uh, I was just telling you how Aries doesn't like to be stagnant. You guys have felt stagnant for too long in a situation that's not making you happy. That's all there is to it. And whatever it is, you're 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 deciding to, to move on from it and, and not allow it to affect you the way that it has been. It, it's, it's smoother sailing. It's smoother sailing from here, Aries which is a, a really good idea, you know, in concept, um, an action card for the beginning of a new year. Yeah, it's time to move away from things that just aren't cutting it anymore. Let's see what your general energies are. Four of Swords, let me tell you what, this card has been coming up like crazy in the readings this month. Um, Four of Swords is a card of rest and reflection right? If you guys are moving out of a situation that's been difficult and trying and you've been feeling stuck and you're finally able to get a little bit of direction and action and moving forward, this is a time of like rest and reflection on those things, right? Uh, you know, I've been saying when I, when this card is popping up, it's almost like someone is like in a room, they shut the door and they're shutting everyone out and just taking some time for themselves just to rest with no distractions, right? Yeah. Aries has been feeling the burden. A lot of people depend on Aries because Aries is so strong all the time, right? Aries carries a lot of weight on their shoulders. Something has been burdening you, Aries. Something's just really been sucking the life out of you and it's been too much. And you're tired. And because you've decided to move away from that energy, Aries, that's where you're getting this rest and reflection, right? Because you're so tired of it. It's really sucked the life out of you. Next, we have the Two of Swords. The inability to make a decision. Hmm. Or not knowing which direction to go. Or like not even really wanting to take a look at your options either, too. Like, too difficult. The devil card. <laughs> yeah. So the devil card is, is all about like, it is all about being bound or chained to something. Right? These are, this is a, a you know, bad habits or reoccurring events that aren't good. Um, mental thought process, anything that chains or restricts.
I already kind of know where this is. I feel like I kind of know where this is going. The nine of pentacles is a card of being able to, it's, it's independent, independent success is what it is. Uh, pentacles represent tangible, right? So anything physical, uh, money, finances, property matters. Uh, there's, there's the nine of pentacles represents um, independent security, being able to feel secure and proper, uh, uh, prosperous, prosperous, excuse me. All on your little lonesome Aries, able to do this all by yourself, manifest this by yourself. Wow. <laughs> Here you are in your power, Aries. This is your suit, the rods, fire, the suit of fire. And the king is the, uh, you know, the master of that suit. He's got it on lockdown. He knows the right direction to take. He has the initiative. He has the drive. He has the creativity. He has the passion. He has the experience. This is you getting back in your element, you coming into yourself. Yeah. Aries, there's something that has really been keeping you restricted. And it's like, I feel like you've been stuck in this, whatever it is, whether it be a relationship, a job or a career, a place. Whatever kind of scenario is on repeat that is not good for you and your inability to want to move on from it. Yeah, this, no. <laughs> no, Aries. I mean, I've been telling you guys before, Aries does not like that stagnant feeling. But you guys have been, you know, and I know that, you know, honestly, it's been hard lately with all the COVID and everything to, to have that forward momentum but you guys have been like unwilling to to see that there is any other way around it and and maybe it's like a security issue oh well it's something that i promised that i was going to do right i i promised i was going to stick in there and and when i promise something i'm good to my word and you know people can count on me and it's like this is what you get in return right you're just exhausted you've carried all of this weight on your shoulders, unwilling to put them down, unwilling to put these rods down because you, you said that you would and, and you're going to and you can, you can do it. But you're tired, Aries. This is not good energy for you. The Six of Swords being your key, your key card says that it is time for you to put down these rods and to move away from that energy because it's an unhealthy cycle. It's time to take off the mask, uncross the swords, acknowledge that this situation is no longer serving its purpose for you and take initiative to be able to move forward. And once you do that, you can take a breath. Once you put that burden down and that responsibility down, you can take a breath and a rest and it gets easier from there. But it's def there's definitely something that you need to let go of. Because once you let go of that, Aries, once you let go of that, that burden, I feel like it's like, I don't know why I keep on saying this, but I feel like it's some kind of like promise or it's something that you feel like you, you have to do. You know, like if, if people are you know, depending on you and are, you know, it just it feels like a responsibility, but it feels it, 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 it's become more than a responsibility areas. It's become a burden. It's become too heavy. It's restrictive. Once you put the, once you decide to put those rods down and go through the, the six of swords transformation and decide to leave something unhealthy behind you, that's when you're going to see the success come in. That's when you're going to get the nine of pen pentacles. That's when you realize again, Aries, how self-sufficient you are, how strong you are. 
when you let go of something that is weighing you down, all it does is give you more energy to bring in success and more positive things into your life. But you have to let it go first. Because you guys have the ability this month to really come back to yourself. I mean, look at the difference. Yeah? We put all those other things down, all those burdens we were carrying, all that responsibility, all that weight, and we have one rod of clarification, destination, action, incentive. One drive. Yeah, you can do it. It's time to break the chains, Aries. Whatever that restriction is that, that's, that's holding you back, it's, it's, trying, it's, it's time to break that cycle. It's a new year. You don't want to carry all the baggage from last year in with you. You want to let it go. It's fresh. You know, take, take that action and initiative to, to let things go. All right, let's see. Postcard from Spirit, advice card. Dearest you, there are times when loss is part of life. Sometimes a loss is welcome, like when you leave a situation not in alignment with your highest good. Sometimes a loss is sudden and painful, like when a loved one crosses over to our dimension. Regardless of the nature of the loss and your control over it, your experience is asking to be acknowledged. Tears are necessary, as is grief. When you repress the natural expression of loss and try to move on too quickly, the unprocessed pain haunts you in destructive ways. We don't want that for you. Instead, let your heart break open wide, feel the loss and integrate it. See the beauty that was, the lessons learned, and know that as you let go of what has passed, ever more of you remains. It gets better, we promise. Your heart expands with more compassion for the world than ever before. Love heals all. We are loving you, sending you love always and forever. Wow, Aries, beautiful. There's more to the story here, Aries, and I'm curious about it, but there, there, there is something definitely that you guys are, are being asked to let go of this month in order for you to be able to really move forward and come back into your own. And if, and if it is a sense of loss, you know, what if you feel like, okay, Aries, what if you feel like when you put these down, when you finally put these down, when you finally release all these burdens that you've been holding on to, like, what are you afraid of, Aries? Are you afraid of what it's going to feel like when those are no longer on your shoulder anymore? It's going to change you. Stop carrying around baggage from the past. It's time to rest on it, reflect on it, mourn it if you have to, but you have to let it go. You have to let it go. You cannot continue doing this. You cannot continue this, this cycle of denial. It is truly time to do that internal work that's needed, Aries, to, to let that, those burdens go that you've been holding on to, that you've been clinging to, and move on to smoother, easier waters. Is it hard to let go sometimes? Yes, absolutely it is. Absolutely it is, but that's what you're being asked to do this month. I have no doubt that you guys have the strength and the resiliency to do this. Absolutely. I love you guys. I'll see you next time.